Vaccine safety is heavily scrutinized before licensure of any vaccine and continues to be looked at very carefully as a vaccine rolls out into the general population. In the initial clinical trials, we look very carefully for safety signals and we continue to monitor these long term as a vaccine becomes rolled out to the general population. In the trials completed so far with the COVID vaccine, with the Pfizer trials, we recognize that there are certain incidences of reactions, like local reactions, pain at the site of injection, a little bit of redness, erythema, swelling at the site of injection may occur, and even systemic reactions like fever, headache, feeling sore, these reactions may occur more frequently potentially with the second dose versus the first dose. Most of these reactions, if they were to occur, are considered mild to moderate and respond quite rapidly to the use of medications like Tylenol or Advil or Resolve on their own. Further clinical studies will look at safety and efficacy in other groups not included in the initial trials, for example, in kids. So vaccine safety and vigilance is the process of monitoring what happens with the vaccine as it gets rolled out into the general community, in the general public. So as always, Canada's commitment to vaccine safety and immunizations will continue with the COVID vaccine. It's essential for us to identify any rare side effects that are seen when it gets into the general public. And if that were to occur, is it coincidence or is this a safety signal? So a lot of the work on vaccine vigilance happens in the background. Just because we don't hear about it doesn't mean that it's not happening, and it is certainly happening with this vaccine. One of the best examples that we have is with the initial rollout in the United Kingdom when two healthcare workers experienced adverse reactions following vaccine administration. These events are being very closely evaluated. Is it a red herring or is it a safety signal that requires further monitoring? We're here to make sure that this vaccine is safe and continues to show all the same safety standards that we would expect.